Good morning, family. Um, it is about 6.31 a.m. and today's July the 17th. Um, welcome to Coffee and uh, Christ, um, which for the new subscribers, if you're watching this for the first time, um, we do this of a morning, um, usually a few times a week. Um, and we just get our coffee or tea or whatever you drink of a morning. Mine's coffee, definitely. And I usually read um, a devotion. Um, I read out of Dr. D David Jeremiah. I read from um, Charles Stanley's devotions. And then sometimes we'll just get, we'll just get it from the Word because that's the best place to go anyway. Um, Today, I am going to share a couple of um, psalms with you, so stay at the end because I really, really want to share those with you, and um, I've got a video coming up later today. I found a poem that I had started back um, when I was just halfway still prodigal, halfway mm, God was pulling me in. And uh, it's unfinished, of course, but um, I found it, so I can finish it now, right? So anyway, let's get started, okay? I hope you guys have all woke up on the right side of the bed this morning, and um, or tried to anyway. I have to say to myself sometimes, Melinda being a grouch pot I need to chill out you know what I mean because I think we get this whole thing mixed up sometimes of joy and happiness and we've talked about this before on the channel happiness is our circumstances like as a wife I'm happy when you know my husband is is showing me attention and he's loving me in my love language you know or with his love language I'm happy when the children come over to visit or the grandbabies you know um but joy on the other hand that is something that doesn't come like this it should remain and um that can it, it can be hard it's okay to say, you know what, I just feel like I've lost my joy. That's when we grab this. Because this is where the joy of our salvation is found. It's the only place. It's not found in our spouses, our boyfriends, our girlfriends, our friends, shopping, drugs, alcohol, even coffee. It's not found in any of that. Joy, true joy, doesn't mean that I'm bouncing off the walls. Just hey, everything is great. Hi, and Lord, you know, just praise God all day long. Just a robot like this, you know. It's not like that. It's just a subtle. Um, when the world is shaken at its core, as it is today. There's a peace that surpasses all understanding, guys. And until you um, receive that peace, and I urge you to ask God for that peace if you had, if you don't have it. In the midst of everything going crazy, yeah, we're human. We get upset. We cry when things hurt or we're rejected or whatever the situation may be. We lose a loved one. What, what, you know, it, we are emotional beings, but joy isn't based on emotion. That's it, period. So, as we dig into today's devotion, remember those things, okay? And let me say thank you to the new subscribers this morning. Uh, we're getting, we're just getting more and more subscribers by the days, and um, I don't know why, only God knows why, and He knows who 
is supposed to come across this channel and um, it only takes a couple, a couple seconds to hit the subscribe and hit the like or maybe hit the next video um, and just check it out. We're just prodigals that's returned to the Lord after being raised in very, um, very um, biblical ways, but um, very legalistic. Um, so um, we found grace and we found God's mercy and forgiveness and we walk in love today, in his love today because of that. So um, anyway, let me stop babbling, okay? It's the coffee. It's the coffee. July 17th, the Museum of Happiness. The verse today is out of John 5, 11. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may remain in you, and that your joy may be full. A new museum had opened up in Denmark, sponsored by the Happiness Research Institute. It's the Museum of Happiness, located in Copenhagen's historic district. There are eight rooms dedicated to different theories about happiness. Maps there are to display the world's happiest and unhappiest regions. Hmm, that might be kind of cool. You can study the history of happiness there, and there's a lab devoted to the relationship between happiness and the brain's chemistry. So it's science-based pretty much, I think, is what I'm getting from that. You don't have to travel to Copenhagen, however. Whenever you open the Bible, like we just said, you're opening the book of joy. Whenever you open the Bible, you're opening the book of joy. The world really does not understand that. Happiness is an emotion. It comes and goes, especially for us women. But joy is an attitude that comes and, and grows. It don't go. It grows. And it's popped into our hearts by the Holy Spirit. Let me repeat that sentence. Because I really want you to grasp this, okay? Happiness is an emotion that comes and it goes. But joy, true joy, J-O-Y, joy, joy, joy. I've always had a hard time saying that. But joy is an attitude that comes and grows. And it's then popped into our hearts by the Holy Spirit. The world does not give it to us. Nothing in this world can give us that joy because it's all temporal. It's all temporary. It goes away. And nor can the world take that joy away. William A. Sweats, uh, S-W-E-T-S, you can correct me, maybe it's Sweets. William A. Sweets or Sweats wrote, the joy Christ gives is for time and eternity for soul and body, for adversity and prosperity. Our joy is deeply rooted in the unspeakable blessedness of forgiveness, the assurance of salvation, and the hope of heaven. Decide. Decide, meaning you have a choice. Decide. To have a joyful heart today. So, what did you guys think about that devotion? I'd really like to hear some feedback in the comments today on that one. Because I know quite a few of us are struggling with, especially in the world, this world is just so angry right now. And I know it's hard to be a lot, guys. I know in this dark world it's in in dark and some of us are placed in really dark places in our jobs or um 
people that were around in our neighborhoods even. Um, I know for me, just in recent months, uh, God has weeded people out of my life that just wasn't helping me to grow. Um, my joy was my joy was trying to be stolen and controlled, and that's not healthy. And it's okay to set healthy boundaries to protect the gift that the Holy Spirit gave us. Okay, that being said, let me grab a drink of coffee and I'm going to read a couple Psalms real quick. Because I'm beginning to believe that a Psalm a day keeps the doctor away. So Psalm 17 is where I'm going to go since today's the 17th. All right. Psalm 17, 3 says, You have tried my heart. You have visited me, visited me in the night. You have tested me, and you find me in, you find nothing evil in me. I intend that my mouth will not transgress. I intend that my mouth will not transgress, and that I not, will not sin with my words. That's what I jotted down beside of that that scripture, guys. You have no idea how speaking the word out, speaking it aloud for the enemy to hear. He hears it. He knows this word. He probably knows this word better than we do. However, we speak this word to him because he, he tells God tells us this word does not return void. So if we speak, I intend that today my mouth will not transgress and I will not sin against you, Lord, with my words. God hears that and he honors that. I believe that with all of my heart, guys. The last one that I wanted to share with you is in Psalm 17 as well. And it is Psalm 17, 15. As for me, I shall see your face in righteousness. Oh, hallelujah. I will be fully satisfied when I awake to find myself seeing your likeness. Your being capital U. Christ likeness. Mm. The Lord is my rock. He is my fortress and the one who rescued me. Oh my God, he rescued me. I am a prodigal returned. So is my husband. And um, today I choose to not let my mouth transgress against you, Lord. And today I choose joy. I choose your peace that passes all understanding, Lord. And I pray that you, you watching will do the same. Guys, I know Coffee in Christ ran a little bit over this morning. Uh, usually it's about seven to eight minutes, something like that. I do hope that you held on to the end. And if you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. Guys, join us on this journey back to the arms of a sweet, loving Jesus that is just waiting. He's waiting for you. But guys, I feel like we don't have much more time. We don't have much more time. Today's the day. Today's the day of salvation. Have a blessed Sunday. Spend it in the Word, in church, with your family, with your friends, with people of like Christ likeness. Guys, I love y'all all, and I just appreciate y'all all. And uh, the same from Joe. He's resting. He's sleeping in on Sundays a little bit until church time because, you know, of work. And he works really hard. He's a good provider and a good, good man. But um, that being said, um, I'm going to go finish my coffee. And I'm going to go sit outside and listen to the birds this morning, I do believe. God said to consider his birds and... I love to consider them early in the morning.
Guys, have a wonderful day. And um, I'll try to get that poem read to you guys later, okay? Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day.